with, with, with going back to your writing, with having so many titles, are you full time writing every day now? Is that yeah. your main occupation? Yeah, what I do, I don't actually write every day because I've got a system that I developed. I write one book a year. Yeah. And I research in the summer or what passes for the summer. Yeah. And um, so I like to visit the actual locations. Oh, yeah. And um, it's, last year, uh, I, w- I was visiting um, Rally- Walter Raleigh's house in Sherborne in Dorset, for yeah. example. Yeah. And the owner of it actually allowed me to go into Walter Raleigh's private study where the public aren't allowed. Yeah. And I was able to stand at the window where he would have definitely stood at the window yeah. at some point with his pipe looking out over the <laughs> um, the deer park. Yeah. And I was able to really get a sense of him, you know? Yeah. And um, I've traveled all the way to remote Brittany researching my books following Henry Tudor in exile. Yeah. So that in the summer, then it's research. And then I start writing in the autumn. Yeah. So next month I, I start in earnest and then I write through until the spring when I've got, I've got a very good editor and she has the book for a month or so and puts all the mistakes right. <laughs> and then um, it gets published sort of uh, June time generally. And then the whole process starts over again. It's a brilliant lifestyle. Does it's the, great. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Going on the scene, standing looking out of Walter Raleigh's window, do you think that adds to the authenticity to the writing? You can well, get you a can't sense. Beat it. Yeah. You can't beat it because uh, particularly I've more than half of my readership is in the United States. Oh. And not a lot of them, I mean, a lot of them do come across it, but not a yeah. lot of them can, can visit... Um, Walter Raleigh's house, for example, but they're fascinated because of his connection with the early Connollys and things like that. You know what yeah. I mean? That um, yeah. uh, I can I can paint a picture for them and bring it to life yeah. in a way that uh, just an ordinary nonfiction book might not be able to do. 